Ms. President, thank you so very much. And Senator from California is recognized. I, I want to associate myself with those remarks that were made. Uh, tragedy uh, when you lose such a fighter like that and such a talent like that and such a hero like that. Um, and speaking of heroism, we need a little bit of it on the floor here. We need to have a leadership here that understands that when children are being poisoned by lead in their water, we do something about it. We need leadership here that understands that just as the people of Louisiana deserve every bit of help, so do the families of Flint. We need a leadership here that understands our responsibility to children. What good are we? What good are we? Now, I gotta say, I stand here as the ranking member of the Environment and Public Works Committee, and we're responsible for the Safe Drinking Water Act and the Clean Water Act. And my partnership with Senator Inhofe, which has been noted by a few around here, has extended to taking care of the people of Flint. We took care of the people of Flint and all of the kids who were exposed to lead in water in the Water Resources and Development Act that passed here with over 90 votes. That is good. That says that there's goodness here in the United States Senate. But unless we can deliver this bill and put it on the president's desk, it's a meaningless goodness. It's for show goodness. And I got to say, it's so simple to take care of this. The continuing resolution has in it help for Louisiana. Those people deserve that help. So do the people of Flint. And I have to say, how easy is it it's already paid for. We figured it out. It doesn't cost a penny. Unlike helping the people of Flint, where we put that into the emergency spending, we have paid for the way to help the people of Flint and the children all over this country who have suffered from the impact of lead. I want to show you some charts that demonstrate what it's like. Mr. President, this is what corrosive water has done to leash the lead out of these pipes. These are the drinking water pipes. Why did it happen? Because unelected people in Flint, appointed by the governor there, decided they wanted to save a few bucks and they changed the source of the drinking water and they switched to a very corrosive drinking water and it leached all this lead out and the lead poisoned the children. That's a simple fact in evidence. We need to fix it, we need to replace it. I'm gonna show you something else. This is what it looks like, Mr. President. If you saw this color water coming out of your tap, you'd get out of the house with your family. I'd get out of the house with my family. We're lucky we have more resources than a lot of folks. Show you some more pictures and some more charts. Here's other cities. <clears throat> Pregnant women, kids cautioned over Jackson water lead. This is Newsweek. Will lead in the water could Sebring, Ohio, with lead in the water could Sebring, Ohio become the next Flint? The next Flint. These are other cities in our country where the lead is leaching into the drinking water. Now this is not a Democratic Republican issue. We fixed it over here, all of us together. But now we're being told by the Republican leader he can't possibly take care of it in the continuing resolution while he takes care of other places. Since when do we play God and decide which people are deserving of our help? When they're suffering, you help people. When there have been terrible mistakes made with a drinking water supply, you help people. And we did it in a way that's financially responsible, fiscally responsible. 
we figured out a way to pay for this new program that will not only help Flint replace their pipes, but will help cities like this all over the country. Here's another one. Elevated levels of lead found in Newark schools drinking water. Lead in water not confined to Flint. So our provision that we put in helps people all over this great nation of ours. What else do we have to show? Okay, I want to tell you the list of organizations who were calling to add aid to Flint and these other cities into the continuing resolution. The AFL-CIO, Catholic Charities, First Focus Campaign for Children, the Congressional Black Caucus, Human Rights, representing 200 national organizations, A. Philip Randolph Institute, ACLU, African American Ministers, American Association of University Women, American Family Voices, Amer American Federation of Government Employees, American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, American Federation of Teachers, American Islamic Congress, American Rivers, American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, Americans for Democratic Action, Andrew Goodman Foundation, Asian and Pacific Islander American Health Forum, Asian Americans Advancing Justice, Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance, Ben the Ark Jewish Action, Campaign for Americans Future, Catholics in Alliance for the Common Good, Center for Community Change Action. You can see all the interfaith groups, every religion is asking the majority leader to take care of these children. For God's sakes, where's your heart? Where's your heart? We've paid for it. We've taken care of it. We're helping Flint, we're helping all the communities. Let's continue to see these groups. Center for Law and Social Policy, Children's Defense Fund, Children's Health Fund, Common Cause, Disability Rights Education Fund, Environment America, Every Child Matters, International Association of Official Human Rights Agencies, National Association of Social Workers, the Black Justice Coalition, the National Council of Asia Pacific Americans, the National Council of Jewish Women, the Jewish Council for Public Affairs, Jobs with Justice, the League of Conservation Voters, the League of United Latin American Citizens, Moms Rising, the NAACP, the Automobile, Aerospace, and Agricultural Implement Workers of America, the Jesuit Conference of Canada and the United States. Where are your values? Where are your religious values, I say to the majority leader? You can take care of this. Doesn't cost a penny. And you will shut down the government rather than do this? You've got to be kidding. Here's some more. National Council of La Raza, National D Disability Rights Network, National Education Association, National Employment Law Project, National Fair Housing Alliance, National Jobs for All Coalition, National Urban League, National Women's Law Center, the National WIC Association. You know what WIC stands for? Women, Infants, and Children. And they make sure that our babies are healthy. And they know, they know that there's no safe exposure of lead in a child. And they know that that lead builds up. Sorry. <laughs> Restaurant Opportunity Centers. Service Employees International Union, the Sierra Club, the United Church of Christ, Justice, and Witness Ministries, the United Methodist Church, the General Board of Church and Society, Voices of Progress, People for the American Way. And you don't want to listen to Democrats? Listen to the churches. Listen to the great religions. Listen to the people who fight for children. Put Flint in the continuing resolution. It doesn't cost a penny. I want to go back to the photo of what it looks like when lead comes out of the water fountain. I want to show you that picture. 
That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Now, the majority leader, when asked, he says, oh, I don't have to put this in the continuing resolution. I can just know. I know that we're going to get this in the Water Resources Development Act bill. Now, I want to say something. As I started out, I said this Senate voted by more than 90 votes to fix Flint and to fix this problem of lead in drinking water by setting up a paid-for program. And it's in the word of Bill. Thank you to Senator Inhofe, my chairman. What a joy to work with him and his staff on this. He is committed to this. I am committed to this. Well, what about the House? Because I don't have to tell you or explain to you how a bill becomes a law. It has to go to the Senate. It has to go to the House. It has to go to a conference committee to debate the differences. Then it has to go to the president. He either signs or vetoes. OK? The House has a word of bill. Guess what is not in their bill? Flint. Guess what is not in their bill? Any provision to deal with lead in drinking water. They say, trust us. We don't need it in the CR. Let's take care of all these other people. But we don't need it in the continuing resolution. Don't shut down the government. Over. Come on. We'll take care of it in word. Really? Well, they had a chance yesterday to allow an amendment, to allow an amendment to add Flint provision to the word of bill. Guess what they did? They said no. They said no. They won't even allow a vote. Chairman Sessions, not Senator Sessions, this is Chairman Sessions over there of the Rules Committee, said, you know, Flint could be an earmark. Well, number one, it is not an earmark because we take care of all areas where there is lead in drinking water. Number two, what did Paul Ryan say, the speaker over there, the one who says he's so compassionate for poor people? He says, this is a local matter. A local matter? How is it a local matter when the people of Flint were being governed by appointed people by the governor, and they decided to save money, and they didn't care what happened? They went to a cheaper water supply, and they poisoned the people. Local matter? Really? Is it a local matter to not have safe drinking water? Really? Ask the people who served when Richard Nixon was the president, and he started all the environmental landmark laws. People have a right to clean air. People have a right to clean water. People have a right to safe drinking water. People have a right to these things. And we have a responsibility to ensure that they have that right, because the consequences are dire. A local matter. That's Speaker Ryan, the Republican speaker who says he's so compassionate. Why isn't he making this happen? Why isn't he helping us? We cannot trust the House to address Flint. They proved it yesterday. They won't even allow an amendment. All they have to do is allow an amendment. The amendment passes, same as the Senate. It's in the bill. We're done. We're happy. Then you don't have to put it in the continuing resolution. All you have to do is take up and pass the Senate bill, the Senate word of bill, which passed here with over, I think, 95, 95 votes. 95 votes. You think they could take it and pass it in a time when we can't even agree on a resolution commending Mother's Day? We can't even agree on something simple. We agreed with 95 votes on a word of bill. Take up and pass it. Get it off the plate. Then we can get this issue behind us. They won't do it. The suffering in Flint has gone on far too long. The crisis began in 2014 when that unelected Flint leadership, appointed by the Republican governor of Michigan, cut costs by switching the water supply to the corrosive Flint River. The city managers failed to use corrosion control measures, and that 
was a disaster because lead began leaching into the water from the city's aging drinking water pipes. We'll show those pipes again. Look at that picture. That is a frightening one. And, and, and it wasn't until January 2016, the governor declared a state of emergency. Meanwhile, a local doctor began warning of the high level of lead in children's blood, but state officials assured those parents their water was safe to drink. 100,000 working class Americans in Flint, African Americans, white Americans, Hispanic Americans, 41% living below the poverty line, used contaminated water for drinking, for cooking, for bathing, for months without knowing about it because these so-called local officials appointed by the Republican governor refused to tell them there was a problem. And the Republican leadership here has the temerity to say those people don't deserve relief or say, oh, we'll take care of it in the Water Resources Development Act when yesterday the House refused to do it. 12,000 Flint children were exposed to lead-tainted water, according to NBC. Those children will be dealing with the harmful consequences of lead contamination for the rest of their lives. No safe level of lead is known. There is no safe level. And the exposures are generally irreversible. What does lead do? It harms the developing brains and nervous systems of children and fetuses. This is a tragedy, a tragedy. And yet the Republican leader comes down here and says, oh, we'll take care of it after the election. Don't worry about it. No, that's wrong. It's not right. In my position as the ranking member of the Environment and Public Works Committee, and before that as chairman, I could swear I could stand here and tell you I gave my heart and soul for the people of Louisiana and the Gulf Coast when they were hit by strife. I went there to Louisiana. I stood with the people of Louisiana. I stand with them now. They deserve our help. And so do the people of Flint, and so do the people of all the communities that are suffering from lead in drinking water. It has been nine months, over nine months, since Flint was granted an emergency declaration. And the citizens continue to deal with a horrible water crisis. They do not have access to safe drinking water. This started in 2014. And in 2016, the Republican leader doesn't understand that that's wrong, that we haven't helped those people. Come on. Don't hide behind the Water Resources Development Act because they have not agreed to fix it in the House. Why are Republicans picking and choosing communities who deserve our help? We're going to have a vote today. And that vote is important. And we need to be strong. We need to say, we are for helping the people of Louisiana. We are for helping them. But we are not for leaving out these poisoned children, this community that's been suffering, when we can fix it without a penny of taxpayer cost. So I hope we're going to vote no on that. And maybe then the leader will decide to put Flint into this continuing resolution. We cannot play games with this. We cannot. This can be fixed. 95 senators know how to fix it. This can be fixed. We are very worried about this issue of lead and drinking water, because millions of homes across America receive water from pipes that date to an era before scientists fully understood the harm of lead exposure. So there are lead pipes. And if you put the wrong 
type of water into those pipes, it will leach the lead out, and unknowingly, families are bathing in lead. They're drinking lead. They're cooking with lead. This is wrong. And I'll say, uh, and you have to hear this, Mr. President, this is very important to hear. We don't just fix the problem in Flint. We set up a new program to help communities all over the country. The American Water Works Association estimates that as many as 22 million Americans have lead service lines. 22 million Americans. So what are we going to say? Well, we won't take care of this in the CR, continuous. We'll just throw it over into the water bill, and yet the House is very disinterested in this, the Republicans in the House. And I have read the organizations. And you know, this is the first time I've actually looked at all those organizations. And, and I just want to make this last plea to the Republican leader and to all of you who run this place here for now. And that is this. If we're here for any reason, if we're here for any reason, and we thank God we're here, what an honor it is to be here. As I look at my days dwindling down here, I'm full with emotion that I've been able to help so many people. Why are we here? Not to hurt people, not to turn a blind eye to the suffering of people, but to step up to the plate and to say, you know what, we understand and we're going to help. We have a chance to do that. I was so proud of my partnership with my Republican friends on the Environment and Public Works Committee that we took care of this in the Water Resources Development Act bill. And we solved the problem in a fiscally responsible way and a judicious way. We've got it solved, Mr. President. It's done. The work is done. And 95 senators stood behind that work. So what we want to say to the House is, take up and pass the Senate bill. Take care of this matter. And if you can't do that, give us an ironclad commitment that you will absolutely get it done. Short of that, it has to go in the continuing resolution. Until then, what we're doing in the continuing resolution is saying yes to the suffering and pain of some of our beloved citizens and no to suffering and pain to another set of our beloved citizens. This is the United States of America, not the divided States of America. We care for all our children, for all our families. We look at safe drinking water as a right. That's why we have the Safe Drinking Water Act. That's why we have the Clean Water Act. These were passed by Republicans and Democrats, signed into law by Republican and Democratic presidents. I hope that the leader, who I've had some very excellent relations with of late, <laughs> I hope that he will rethink this. And we can leave here in an election year knowing that we helped all the people. Thank you very much. Beautiful.